Greetings from IBC 2019. I'm at the Western Digital booth and we're going to take a closer look at some products together with Dara. This year's IBC coverage is brought to you by Newtech, Blackmagic Design, Signiant, and G Technology. So Dara, yes. um, talk me through what you have lying around here because it's pretty exciting, right? Yeah, exactly. So, hi Bas, good to see you again. So, what we have, we always have the fastest, the biggest, in the most incredible sizes. So, we just launched our one terabyte world's fastest SD card at IFA last week. Crazy to have that kind of storage. What's even crazier, and we believe it's Klingon technology, is the micro SD one terabyte world's fastest, which just started shipping in August. So one terabyte in a fingernail sized card is just incredible. We had our CFAS cards last year, but as you saw, there's a lot of generational change from SATA to NVMe. So now we've gone from CFAS to CF Express. So this is brand new at the show. So the CF Express card is PCIe NVMe based, so it goes up to 1700 megabytes a second on the reads and 1400 on the writes. That's just like a killer SSD in your camera. So it's three times as fast as the previous CFAS 2 spec. Good thing is, Canon brought out a kick ass camera as well. Uh, C500 Mark II that is dual CFS Express slots. Uh, we have a beautiful video they made which is running on our booth. Um, the camera is shipping very shortly and the card as well should be shipping by October in up to 512 gigs, pricing around 629 euro for the 512 gigs. What you may also have noticed given that you're a very astute and observant man of technology is that it's actually in the same form factor as an XQD card. It does mean you can connect it, but unless the camera manufacturer upgrades the firmware to acknowledge it, it won't work. But good thing is, Nikon is working on the Z6 and the Z7 to firmware upgrade it, and is committed to the D series as well. So you'll see support in a lot of other cameras coming up shortly. Yeah, so do you think that uh, it can go any faster from there, or that we now, we're now done, right? So this next is, year? This is the first generation. When you think that a couple of years ago we were probably talking about a 200 gig micro SD card and going, how did you do that? Then we went on to 512 gig and then we got it all the way up to one terabyte. So this is generally the start of something beautiful. Cool. And when it comes to SSD, same thing. We did a generational shift from SATA USB-C to NVMe USB-C. So this was SATA based up to 550 USB-C. That's old news now. NVMe based and USB-C, blazing fast up to 1050 megabytes a second. Aluminium housing, so really rigid, really robust, and also good for heat dissipation to keep your SSD nice and cool to make sure you've got consistent performance. Beautiful. So because you talk so quickly, we just have a few seconds to just talk about what you have lying around here, because this is pretty exciting as well, right? Excellent. So. Our USB-C drives are fantastic, and what's even more fantastic is that Blackmagic has put support for direct recording to USB-C drives on its pocket cinema cameras. So on the 4K, direct connection via USB-C, Small Rig brought out this beautiful adapter to mount your SSD on top with cable management, and we can record directly to our SSD. High speed, high capacity, and the really cool thing is that when you're done working here, all you need to do is unplug the cable, and now with the new um, iPad OS on the iPad Pro, what you can do is directly connect it. And it's the hallelujah moment, so most people have been um, praying for this to happen for quite a while. You can now actually go into your file manager on iOS, and your Extreme SSD pops up. It's like, ta-da! It happened. And all the files are there. And what's great is you can now actually edit on the go with apps like LumaFusion. So this is a full project that was created on the go. You could go shooting with your Blackmagic, you could edit on the train, and export, and upload, and then have a safe backup copy to go. Why do you have that there? So I have that there because I love Space Gray. I'm a sucker for Space Gray. <laughs> so this is the NVMe-based drive we spoke about earlier, and this is just running the Blackmagic disk speed test to prove that we can actually hit the speeds we talk about. Blackmagic speed test will always come in probably about 10% under what we see. Yeah. The speeds we claim and have in the box, we achieve in crystal disk mark on a PC. So that's for your reference, just so you know exactly what we're talking about. So this just goes real world 
true to life test. As you can feel there, it's kept kind of a nice and cool with the aluminium um, shielding. Just kind of check, right? See? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So that's our brand new drive. Uh, this is on everybody's Christmas wish list this year. Over a thousand megabytes a second in a portable drive. And that's pretty much all we have to show you this year. I'm going to save up. Thanks, Bias.